Hello everyone, it's Coldest Coldman here. A few months ago I saw this video on YouTube from Luke, now also called 24-7 testing, and I was amazed. I really liked the idea of transferring your own robotic friend into real life. I started wondering how can a person do something awesome like that. Before I was never a student of electronics, physics or something similar. I studied design and web development and that's what I mainly do now. So I did a small research. I found out that you can do cool shit like this with Arduino. If you combine some electronics, material, code it, and multiply all of that with many amount of hours, you can achieve something like this. Or even this. Okay, maybe not, but you get the point. I purchased the Arduino kit and played around with the code. It did not seem like anything hard. Uh, the language itself looks like any other pro programming language I saw before. You know, functions, if-else, statements, variables, etc. I created some small projects from tutorials where I mainly played around with the lights and buttons, very basics. During this process I found out that it would be really helpful to actually know a bit more about electricity and how all that stuff works. So I started to go over the very basics of electricity and I'm still there. I'm still learning the basics, what the breadboard is and what does it mean, the polarity of the LEDs, etc. But even now, if you would ask me how is it that when you turn on the light, the light is on, I would know the answer, you know, I would answer something like, shut up, it just is. But uh, yeah, where do you learn the most? By making projects, not just thinking about them, but creating them into reality. And I learned quite a lot already by just playing around with the lights and the buttons. And now I think it's time to start with something bigger. Something that when I'll finish, I'll be proud of. And I think this channel should be a reflection of that. A reflection of the whole journey and what does it take to create something cool from point zero to at least the point where you have something created yourself and are proud of. And what is it, you ask? That's right, Sentry from TF2. Why? Well, I hope this answers the question. I guess I had nothing better to do with my time. Uh, now that we have that out of the way, let's proceed with the actual planning. So, in order to spawn Sentry from TF2 into existence, it would be best if you would divide some steps into several categories, on which we can later focus and it will be easier for us to imagine the process. If you look at the Sentry and try to watch it for a while, we can gather some notes from, it, from its behavior. So first of all, it is all made from something. Uh, that will be the first point. 3D printed parts. Second point would be movement of gun barrel, from forward to backwards. The third point is the rotation of the Sentry's neck, from left to right. Another point is detecting the people that stands in front of the Sentry. Then we have some lights, also sounds, it's another point, source of energy, most likely we will use batteries, and then we will need to finally make it controllable. We will either use remote controller or some app. And that's basically it. I have some things already ready for the first point, 3D printed parts, so the next video will hopefully come out soon. But other than that, nothing else. I'll try to keep the track of the time I spend on this for those interested and provide as much details as possible. That's it for this video, thank you for watching.